Hey, what is up gamers enforcer 5150 here and yes, we have a way to finally fix the scaling in oblivion remastered. Now it's a little annoying after the last update, uh, we were not able to uh, do any changes and I did do a, do a video on how we can use DLSS swapper and then use the NVIDIA app. Now this one is going to work for both uh, FSR and for um, DLSS and we will be able to actually enable frame generation right now as you see we have everything just normal the trick is we can just do it by console command now there is a, an issue with uh achievements which there is a mod that you would have to get it's a dll dll file that you can get from mod nexus uh there's someone up there that has a on blocker so it doesn't block your achievements um i'm going to test that out before i end this video just to make sure and let you guys know i haven't tried it yet but i haven't joined the arena yet so uh i should get an achievement for that um for just uh, going to the arena. So we will try that in this and see if it, it works. But anyway, uh, on to what we need to do. Uh, the reason why it uh, um, blocks your achievements is because you have to do this through console command. All right, as you see, we are now at uh, 55 frames per second uh, in here. Now I can see the, uh, the alter things that I've been doing here. And this is literally what you need to do. Um, so if we want to uh, enable our DLSS, you have D, uh, alter dot DLSS dot enabled and then whatever you want. So we have it, we put it at zero. Now we have no DLSS. This is a full normal and you can see we're just running some really crappy FPS. And then to enable it, we just need to put the one in there and you can see the regular DLSS is working. Now I have it at, I believe, uh, DLAA. So if we put in quality here, put in the Q, and you know, hit tab if you're if you've done any type of uh, SSH commands or something like that, or console commands like this, tab will auto complete it for you. But as you can see, it's really small there. Apologize. I'll try to zoom into it now. Um, or if Shalano does this edit, she'll zoom into that part. Anyway, it says the default is five and then set SS DLSS SR quality setting. So uh, we have uh, two, we'll, which will be DLAA, which I think it's at right now. No, it wasn't. Okay, so here's our DLAA and it looks awful because yeah, we're getting 30 frames per second. So if we go ahead and set this to, let's say seven, because as you see, if we put in the Y, uh, seven will be ultra performance and hit it and bam, there we go. We got actual, you know, <laughs> scaling again. Now the frame generation, that was the problem with the last video. Uh, we can also go ahead and put in FG. Oh, no, not FG. Sorry. What one was it again? Uh, DLSS FG. So it's DLSS .fg enabled, And right now you see it's at zero. We'll go ahead and turn that on and bam, look at that. Now you probably see a little bit of um, uh, tearing in here because I turned off a V-Sync because you have to turn off V-Sync for it to look right and it will look really bad if you turn it if you turn it on and leave uh v-sync off but yeah there's still some performance issues with the game obviously but if we have it like this we can go ahead and turn our quality on to uh two which is dlaa and we can probably still get over 60 fps if we wanted to now if you have a g-sync monitor um and you have v-sync off uh, the G-Sync will take over for your monitor and it won't uh, mess with you too much. Right now I'm using the HDMI, so I don't see it too bad. Uh, but if I use my DisplayPort, G-Sync makes it look perfect. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, this does work with FSR as well. So we want to make sure that we turn off uh, DLSS first. So turn that off and we want to turn off the uh, frame generation as well. So there we are. We got that all off. We're back to our original. Now we'll go ahead and go to FSR. So we want to be able to enable it. So alter dot FSR three dot enabled and we'll put in a one. 
and you can see it changed up a bit and look at that we are now running with fsr and actually we get a little bit more uh quality on there but i think we're we're set to a pretty low one and let's go to our quality so quality at zero so yeah this is actually at zero right here and this is just the native fsr quality now the frame generation for fsr i think it is the uh, FL, but I think it might be fluid frames. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, don't quote me on that one because I, like I said, I use an NVIDIA card, but at least you'll be able to uh, get some of these settings. So native AA is one. So let's just go ahead and put it at once and make sure we have the, uh, the regular quality mode native uh, FSR. And then it says, uh, let's see, two is balance and three is performance. So it doesn't have an ultra performance. It's weird. We'll go ahead and put it on three and bam. Look at that. that is awesome, man. Way awesome. But like I said, I have V-Sync off, so you might see some tearing. If you see the tearing, it, it's it's not really the what I'm seeing on screen. Um, I, I, dis I disabled it for y'all's benefit. FSR dot FL enabled. So you can see they have the quality and performance stuff. We can also set the sharpness and everything, but we have it enabled. So we can go FSR three. And this kind of messed with my, I think it might be because I'm using, uh, let's see, it says set to enable fidelity FX frame interpolation. So I don't know if, I don't think that's frame generation. But we'll go ahead and enable it. It messes with your console, though. So that's why I, I definitely probably won't use it. <laughs> see, look at it. It, just, it starts freaking out there. As you can see, everything looks great here. And I am just, I'm glad I finally got this figured out. But if you turn that thing on, you see it just kind of freaks out on you. And we have to go back, zero. They just, <laughs> I just can't it, it might be trying to generate frames or something like that uh, in between. But as you see, we can actually enable all of our thing. I'm going to put on my DLSS. All right. So I went ahead and I turned off the uh, frame generation and everything. Uh, I'll be right back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and re-enable my uh, V-Sync. And I'm going to go check out to make sure we can get an achievement. All right, so uh, I almost forgot to show you guys, but for the achievements, you need this universal achievement on blocker. We're going to see if this thing works now. Uh, it doesn't require anything extra. You just need to download the file and then put it into your uh, main folder here. And I'll go ahead and open that up. So if you go, if, like you have mine, it has Windows apps, uh, Bethesda Networks, Project, da, da, da. Oblivion Remaster, Binaries, Win GDK, and this is the DIL file that you're just going to place in here. All you have to do is place it in there, and it should work. And that should make it so that your achievements will still work, and we're going to find that out here in a moment. Um, I now just turn back on my V-Sync. I always go into Manage 3D settings, and this is for my mostly recording purposes, um, or else you start getting uh, tearing and stuff like that in the recording. So I'm going to go ahead, open up back the game, and see if we get an achievement. All right, so I went ahead and did the arena, and as you can see, it did unlock, and we are good. So as long as you use that DLL file, you should be good, and you should be able to get your uh, achievements in-game and everything. It, I'm just glad we finally got a way to do this. Hopefully, they will fix the game themselves and actually give us a performance update. Anyway, that is all I'm going to do for this video today. Make sure you hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.